What is the Taylor Rule and how is it used? Have you ever wondered how central banks decide on interest rates? One important tool they use is called the Taylor Rule. This mathematical formula helps guide interest rate decisions by linking them to inflation and economic output. Developed by economist John Taylor in 1993, the rule aims to balance price stability with economic growth. The Taylor Rule assumes a baseline interest rate of 2% above inflation. When inflation rises above a target, often set at 2%, or when economic growth exceeds sustainable levels, the rule suggests raising interest rates. On the flip side, if inflation falls below the target or growth lags, it recommends lowering rates. The formula for the Taylor Rule is expressed as follows. The recommended policy rate equals the inflation rate plus 0.5 times the output gap plus 0.5 times the difference between inflation and 2% plus 2. In this equation, the recommended policy rate is represented by the letter R, the inflation rate by the letter P, and the output gap, which is the difference between actual gross domestic product and potential gross domestic product, is represented by the letter Y, the formula gives more weight to inflation highlighting its importance in maintaining monetary stability. In practice, central banks like the Federal Reserve use the Taylor Rule as a benchmark rather than a strict guide. It helps policymakers assess whether current interest rates align with economic conditions. For example, if inflation hits 3%, which is above the 2% target, and gross domestic product grows faster than potential, the rule would suggest a rate hike to cool the economy. From a statistical and econometric perspective, the Taylor Rule simplifies complex monetary policy decisions into quantifiable variables. It serves as a tool for analyzing historical policy effectiveness and testing hypothetical scenarios. This includes examining how changes in interest rates might impact inflation or unemployment. While the Taylor Rule does not account for modern tools like quantitative easing, it remains a foundational model for understanding interest rate dynamics in monetary policy education. For viewers interested in this topic, visualizations of the formula, historical interest rate comparisons, and case studies, such as the 2008 financial crisis, can make the content more engaging. By illustrating its role in balancing economic priorities, the Taylor Rule helps make abstract policy concepts more tangible and relatable.